All right, so I've had a bunch of people asking me like how I built my trailer or what all I'm doing to it. Frankly, I don't know what the hell I'm doing to it. The purpose of this trailer <clears throat> is to have something to work out of that holds all my tools. So this is a seven by 12 by seven. So seven tall, 12 long, seven wide. Uh, twin 3500s, not just a single because uh, a single, in my opinion, has too much torsion, especially this long. So you'll have the frame doing this number, like twisting with the weight. So um, I can do a whole bunch of different stuff and I need a setup to accommodate a bunch of different stuff. Um, let's see, so general setup, toolbox, or excuse me, toolbox, toolbox, shelving unit, shelving unit for, I have a bunch of those totes and a bunch of milk crates that have a bunch of my tools and stuff. So um, milk crates and stuff on the bottom, my totes and stuff up there, small tools, my tool cases, you know, just different various tools I have. I'm actually going to be able to lighten this guy a good bit and, and have tools, you know, in their packaging that's down there, like on the shelf. Um, but be able to have all my stuff stored here, have my mechanics toolbox, which is another big portion of what I do. My two biggest ones, trees, trees, I got so much crap right here, um, trees and mechanic work. So. I have all my mechanic stuff here, all my tools for mechanic work, a press. There's going to be a press in here, a vice in here, somewhere on this, where you know, I'm not quite sure yet. But, um, and then I've got tree gear. We'll end up going here. I've got um, some stuff to hang on the walls to put like my climbing bag, my ropes, my pole saw, my, my ladder and stuff will go up here. My, there's, I mean, a bunch of different ropes I have. Um, I have a bunch of, a bunch of stuff's going to be stored here eventually, but this doesn't need to be built out yet. Um, so, and then another big portion, or not a big portion, but something I do know how to do that takes up some space is locksmithing. So pin kits, uh, key machines, such like that. There'll be a cabinet up there at some point. I might dual purpose this. I'm definitely putting a TV there with my docking station for my laptop. This area right here is to like put a bench. So I have like a, you know, a place to sit here, a desktop to work on. Um, so, and then probably air compressor here. The only reason I've had to consider a lot of things in this, the biggest one being weight distribution. So good bit of weight there, not so much in the front, a couple hundred pounds. And there's gonna be a good weight, a good bit of weight here. Center of the axle is like right there-ish. So this keeps it back behind it. This keeps it up in front of it, still kind of evenly weighting it. Um, so to do what I do, you need power. Well, we put lots of power in here. I got three different circuits. I have circuit one, left side here, circuit two, this side here. Um, eventually this can be continued down, just not at the moment. Um, circuit three is lighting. I actually went in through the wall there, up into that. So there'll be my strip lights, which again, that's not permanent. It's just so I can work in the meantime and not have to have everything hooked up. Um, and then there'll be another strip of those up here. Um, probably at least one, like a set of under, like under cabinet lights there. Um, and then I've got a couple floodlights and area, like, uh, area lights and stuff that are going to go along this top ridge, like RV lighting. Um, my power supply is a, I have an inverter with a dual deep cell battery set up. Um, right now the batteries have just been on the ground. The screws there just kind of held them in transport. The inverter on the wall, that's where all my power is going to be coming to. Um, I have like remote power on. It'll show me if I have my battery power and voltage and everything up here. Uh, that also has it on the inverter a little bit more detailed. Like I said, I'm running an inverter, not a generator, not a converter. I'm running an inverter. So my inverter is, wasn't bad. It's like uh, 350, 400 bucks, something like that for a 2,500 watt. 5,000 starting, 2,500 uh, continuous, 209 amp hour batteries. Um, I'm going to, as far as power goes, so that's going to be power, like satellite power. Um, when I'm completely off grid, have nothing else. In the meantime, Power wire off of the truck will be powering its own dedicated circuit to the batteries themselves, which will be mounted somewhere up here on the tongue. Um, that'll keep them charged when I'm driving around so that they're charging every time I go to a job, every time it, the, the truck is running and the trailer's hooked up. That also gives me uh, power to just my the single light that was in here. Um, I also have a maintainer that is going to be mounted on this wall that'll pop out. I have like an RV, like um, a hose pop out or electrical cord pop out that's going to go right here that will have a couple different purposes. There's also going to be an air compressor hose reel in here um, and a dedicated air compressor hookup that I can hook power to here because my compressor is a little too big for this guy to power. Um, so there'll be a hose reel there. It can go straight out wherever I need it to in the job site. Um, and then 
There'll be, like I said, a shore power hookup right here as well that will go to the main. It's not going to be shore power like 30 amp, like an RV. It'll just be, you know, regular friggin' 15 amp for a drop cord that I can run to a house I'm working at that'll put, you know, be on the maintainer going to the batteries as I'm using it throughout the day. Um, otherwise, like I said, I can always crank the truck up and get full 14.4 or so at the battery. Um, and then there's probably, I've thought about it. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might experiment with some solar up on top. I have a roof rack that's going up there for um, for my big ladders, um, and then the only other thing I might do is buy an old camper, recycled air conditioning unit, and replace that, and or at least put a power vented one instead of just a manual opening. Um, so that's the trailer so far, the hookup, how we've done it. I guess the only other notable thing, my welds suck, but they're very solid. Um, I've uh, I've made this kind of like a, you can call it a modular if you will, but I can cut this right there. That'll separate that half. Uh, that'll leave this section here that can be removed and it can always be resized for another trailer. I can always add metal to it. That's why I did it out of metal. I can always add more and go to a wider width trailer if I wanted to on both sides because it just goes back and it goes right here. Um, and there's no top frame. I can always extend my plating out if I wanted to. Um, or I could shorten it or I could change the shape of it if I wanted to and just have to buy plywood or cut plywood down. So it's pretty well built. Um, I have a shit ton of support over in this corner. If I like, if I want to actually beat on something or, you know, put weight on it. Um, this is actually floating over that. There's a board over that. Um, I have some foam under there that I need to adjust because it's a little bowed, but I have some foam under there to support the back. Um, it's not so much weight bearing as it is looks so that I didn't have a drop. Um, and so I could build the XO for it to keep it in place. Um, other than that, like I said, power, power, power has been my issue this uh, today. Just trying to get everything running where it's going to go. But um, like I said, I was tired of everyone asking me individually and me explaining individually what exactly this project was. That is what the project is. It's Bertha Lizzo, my big old fat bitch Lizzo. That's how you build a trailer.